Hey guys, Danny B here at Daytona International Speedway for the beef. It's what's for dinner 300 here tonight. Austin Hill is declared the winner after a crazy last lap uh, incident involving Sam Mayer flipping on the back stretch. Crazy, we didn't know who won it first. Uh, Austin Hill won the race last year, gets the win here tonight. And afterwards, we caught up with some of the drivers who finished in the top five afterwards, including John Hunter Nemechek, as well as Myatt Snyder and Justin Allgaier. Let's go ahead and toss over to what they had to say after the end of today's race. Hey, John Hunter, great first race here, starting off full-time for JGR. How excited are you for this new year with them? Uh, I'm really excited. Um, I feel like we showed some potential tonight, speedway racing-wise, so to come home second and have a good points day, um, it gets our year kicked off right. So um, I'm looking forward to Fontana next week, um, but dang, that one's going to sting for a little bit. That was that was really, really close. So um, just glad that we came home with the car in one piece. Mobile One Colors looked awesome. and. Uh, can't say thank you enough to Toyota, TRD, um, all of our great partners, um, as well as Coach, um, for giving me this opportunity and, and letting me be behind the wheel of one of their, their race cars of such an elite organization. Uh, wish Coy was here to be here with us, but uh, we're, we're definitely racing for him this year. What goes into the uh, timing of you and Maya trying to figure out when to make that run? Because everyone's just waiting for the right time to do it, right? Yeah. Um, the seven kind of came off the bottom there, off two, and uh, left the door open, and, and that was my opportunity. So um, got forced below the yellow a little bit, um, which is speedway racing. It's going to happen. Uh, I think it actually kept us out of the carnage, which was, uh, was it's a good thing. Um, I just needed my to bump me about five foot sooner, and we probably would have won the thing. Um, but it was really great working with Maya all day. Um, I, I can't say enough about uh, our Toyota teammates and, and what we were able to do with such a limited number. Um, it was definitely a, a Chevy type of day. How nerve-wracking is that entire period? <laughs> uh, I'll have to go back and look at my heart rate uh, to see what it was. Um, I may post it later just for you. So what was it like sitting in the car there waiting? I mean, either way, it's a good run, right? You end up first or second, in my opinion, possibly third, um, to come out of Daytona with the top three, um, with how many cars are normally wrecked here and the carnage that goes on. Uh, I feel really good about coming home with a clean car um, and, and salvaging a top three. It's a good points day, good first race for myself, Ben, this whole 20 team for the JGR organization, and looking forward to Fontana next week and seeing what we can do. It's so hard to tell. It's a game of inches. It looked like you really did. I they headed up on the Jumbotron. I couldn't tell who won it. I mean, have you had a chance to look back at the replay yet? Uh, I was sitting down there at the end of pit road watching it a little bit. But um, overall, uh, solid day. Congratulations. Thanks. Uh, I don't want anybody to flip at this racetrack. Uh, I can confirm it's not very fun. But uh, what is fun is racing a treetop GR Super here. Because the boys from Joe Gibbs Racing brought me a really fast, about as fast as Xfinity 10G. Uh, Supra, and it was really a lot of fun. So um, I thought we had it there with John Hunter. I thought I pushed him there to the win, and uh, I kind of hated that the seven pushed him off the, down below the double yellow line, and it was really, really close. But uh, you know, it's, uh, it's what you deal with here. You deal with it. You deal with uh, spots and inches here. It's part of Daytona. How much energy was there on that last lap? How much energy was there on that last lap? Oh, a ton. I mean, uh, everybody wants to win at that point. Like it's there's it's every man for himself. Obviously, you see that with the one trying to pass the seven. He goes to block and he comes back. He comes back down. And everybody's. It's just. It's really awkward a position to be in because you know you're trying to defend as best you can and get yourself in as good a position as you can. But um, obviously, it's uh, pretty crazy. So um, yeah, just credit to the boys from JGR for bringing such a great uh, GR tree trap GR Supra. What does this mean for you? Trying to put stuff together and just kind of having this type of performance. I mean, honestly, it means so much to me personally just because of the history I have with this team and obviously starting off the race with top five, it's pretty good. So, honestly, I can't complain. Uh, obviously, the only thing that could be better is a win, but uh, we put our best efforts towards getting there. On that last lap, you got out ahead and way ahead, which normally, obviously, you don't want to have that big of a lead. How, how did you get so far ahead? Because that really provided the momentum for the one to come up behind you. Yeah, I mean, you know, those guys were side by side, so obviously they were drafted pretty good, and I was catching them. A good sniff off the eight. I mean, that's that's really why I chose to stay in the throttle. I could see the RPMs going up, you know, catching the eight. And I really thought that maybe it would pull me along just enough, right? And when we got to the end of the front straightaway, I'm like, man, that was a bad plan, right? But it's so hard to it's so hard to want to back yourself up when you are the leader. And, and you know, I knew that if I lifted, I was going to get swallowed up. And 
I just didn't I just didn't think that was the right choice. You know, looking back at the replay, I wish I would have kind of hung to the left a little harder off of two. Maybe made the 20 push me a little bit, but you know, Austin did a great job tonight. Obviously, Sam did a great job tonight. I hated that they, they had their issue on the back straightaway. Um, really, our, our whole team is just much sports. You know, our, our Camaros were incredibly fast, and we executed really, really well all day. And we executed as a company, right? Um, we executed all four cars really, really well. And that's all you can ask for. Block just came late on the one then? Yeah, I mean, I saw him coming, but I mean, at that point, I was running way slower than he was. So, I mean, I tried to block as much as I could, but there's no reason in wrecking both of us at that point. Um, I think the, one, the 21 just had enough momentum to get there, and then I tried to shut the 21 off, and I think he ran in the back of the lawn and ended up turning the one. So. Thanks for watching these interviews from today's race. We hope you enjoyed the race on television. Thanks for checking out these interviews. Be sure to tune in tomorrow to the Daytona 500 here at Daytona International Speedway. It'll be airing on Fox. And uh, we're looking forward to giving you more post-race interviews after that race tomorrow. And if you're new to the NB Talks, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video so you never miss more of these at track racing interviews from Danny B Talks. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye, guys. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video from Danny B Talks. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on the video, and if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. You might like all the other videos here on this YouTube channel. I talk about all things NASCAR, past, present, and future. Until next time, have a great day. Bye guys.